Okay, so I've just broke reality and figured out what is exactly going on, well, with a couple of these new machines, a recipe changed, something that has officially been deleted from the game and changed to something else. So I'm going to go through with that because we've been a spoon. I've not seen anybody comment on this. I've not seen any video being covered about it. But we're looking at all these new things as in regards to, ooh, fancy new machine, fancy new item. But we've not thought about it from a production side of things. If we was to build this said factory inside Satisfactory, because one thing we always do, we start off with ore or a basic item and then output or final kind of products we want to make, which we usually send to B or just send it to the space elevator. So the start of the video, we get this. So I want you to kind of look at this image as we are a piece of ore about to go into this production line. And eventually at the end of the production line, we are then going to become a power shard. And that is the final outcome of this whole factory, as well as the Ikea lamp which it's a funny looking thing, isn't it? So let's rewind back to this image. We know this is now the overall factory, but if we go ahead, we get this image next. Yes, we have bollards, we have windows. They are there just to distract us and show us a little bit of sparkle in what's to come with decoration. And then we get this. We see the ore right here of the new Samoa, right? It's clearly the new Samoa. You can kind of see the weird pinky hue and different hue colors here, which these little pink spots. Uh, and if you pause at the correct time, you can see it's the new uh, ore that we saw in the previous uh, coffee stain video regarding the Sam ore, which is all the pink and bluey glowy stuff. This image is where we start our production line. This is where we are going to see from A to B of what is about to happen. So bear with me here. In this image, we can clearly see down here, Caterium ore going in. Caterium ore goes into a smelter, which then outputs Caterium ingots. As you can see in the central column, you can see them coming out of the smelter. But right here, you can see them moving left. So keep that in mind. When they're moving left, that means they are moving behind these constructors going towards this building right here. We're going to ignore these constructors in the background for now, and we're going to ignore these triangle new items because that's where our eyes are going to get drawn to. So then the next image is we get is of the new fancy things. But if you look a little closer, I did talk about in this the previous video, we can see an input coming down here with a lift. And there's also a uh, line here and there's another lift right here. So there is something going along a belt in this direction uh, that is going along a manifold line. And it wouldn't surprise me right here if this is the top of the lift, that means there is a splitter right here and a splitter right here with a belt moving with a lift going down. So keep that in mind. But if you notice on the opposite side, there is a merger. That merger is receiving the items coming out of these machines, right? So we have um, this output is probably coming out to there and then this one down here is probably coming out of there onto a merger that is here, okay? Which is this is now this gold bar, which is what I'm gonna call it. And then next up, we get this image, but do you notice anything familiar? We can actually see the constructors over here. So this is the constructor line that we've just seen a minute ago, and there is the tip of a smelter, which is doing the Caterium, which is this image. So I believe the camera is in this shot right here, and it's literally at this side of this building, and it's showing us this kind of angle, okay? Which means we can see these constructors, which you can kind of see in this image right here. And we're looking through the window. And as you know, previously, I talked about how the Caterium was going. We could see it in the video moving left. And it goes behind these constructors and then it bends right at the end, which then goes into a windowed wall right here, right? with a window wall into this building, which is right here in this image. So it comes out and it turns into here and goes up this lift right here, right? It goes up this lift. And here's the splitter I talked about in the previous one, because we can see there is a lift right here going into this. And this right here is this machine right here. This one, right? This one right here. Ignore this one for now. And then this one right here, okay? And then we can clearly see Caterium ingot moving and grooving across this line. So Caterium is going in, and what I now believe is gold bars to come down here, because as we know, Caterium in the game is made as a conductive metal in high-speed connectors and all this kind of stuff, right? In basically anything regarding electrical things. So gold is, as we know, super conductive. But hear me out, because we are moving into quantum, and super con gold could be something 
the third stage electrical equipment. And then in this image, we can clearly see that this is coming out. It's going around here like this. And then it's heading into this way. And it's going up into these constructors, which again, back to this image, is coming down here into these mergers and then all into these constructors. And we already know that these constructors are outputting these triangle, probably conductive prisms or something in regards to the electrical stuff, right? Because we can see that later on. So this is where we are now combining with some products that's been made and some raw materials coming in. So right here in this image, we can clearly see we have quartz, we have the new gold triangles or top gold Toblerons. Uh, we have this uh, gel down here or a diamond potentially. Uh, and we've got all this coal moving along here, which is an excessive amount of coal, by the way. I say excessive, but I still build on the large scale. Next, don't look at any of the, basically the large machines. What we want to keep a focus on here is the next stage in the production line, which is these two manufacturers right here and these assemblers over here. And we also have some uh, a manufacturer right here and some other items over here, right? So that's gonna be the next stage, which we now get an aerial view. And then we get to this one, which is again, the aerial shot. And we can already see our eyes are being drawn to this right here, right? So let me get my brush, which is this right here. We can already and clearly, clearly see there is no input there. There is no input here. And as we know from the previous image, it actually has two inputs, right? It has two inputs. I do believe this is actually collecting a resource from the atmosphere, okay? So this is not having this. It can have an input, but it can also um, use atmospheric, um, basically just bring in atmospheric things. I'm trying to find the right word for it. And this is what bringing this in right here, right? Because in the video, when you look at these, you actually see these pulse in this direction, which means they are flowing out on the output line. But we already know this because we can clearly see this has an output and it also has an output here, okay? So this one is a liquid output and it has a solid output. So I do believe this uh, thing has a solid input and another solid input here, okay? I could be wrong with that, but that is what I'm assuming because we already know from this image right here, we have a solid input and we have a solid input. But, 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 we can't really determine right now with this, just because this could be obscuring the circle of the actual input. Actually, breaking news, I've just gone back into the video. Look closely in the bottom left-hand corner and tell me what you see get input into this machine. And if we go back, we've just seen it, this, okay? So this product, which is from Sam Orr, which goes into a constructor, so Sam Orr, into a constructor makes this. Again, we're at the start of the basic production again. But just take a close look. It's literally a frame right there. You can just see it move in the bottom left hand corner. We can see that that gel liquidy type of thing from the Samoa. Again, right here. You just see it move in to the input. So it's a, it's two solids that go into this machine. So we know Caterium and that liquid gel is going into this to make the gold, gold bars from over here. So now I'm curious, if we go back to this image, we see that gel again, but there's also now aluminium. So does that mean there's potentially a third item in here, a third one of these buildings, which is inputting the aluminium and this gel to make another item or this fluid, whatever you want to call it. So if we go back to this shot, we have these two buildings again, and these are outputting two separate lines. So these are not merging. So we already know that this is an output line. This is an input line, input line with a output line here and a liquid output line here. Okay. So I'm going to do them different colors just so you know. So blue is liquid output and red is a solid output. So solid input, solid input, liquid output, solid output. Right here, I was looking if these pipes are merging. They are not merging, which then indicates that this pipe here is going underneath because we can clearly see, well, you can't clearly see ladders right here, which means that's a stacker. So this pipe that's coming along here is above this pipe that's turning directly under. And we can clearly see that if we follow this way, we can see two 
mark one buffers and two pipes right here okay the next part of this image is in the bottom right we can see copper sheets down here which is being mixed with plastic and as we know or if you don't know that makes um circuit boards and we can see that right here with these the circuit boards move along this belt right here and head all the way down here into this lift which then comes along here and goes into a manufacturer right but keep that on on, on hold for now right so we've kind of dealt with the circuit boards in this one we can clearly see that we have wire coming in and cable coming out are you catching my drift yet because we have a manifold line that's pushing this way which then comes along here and goes into this splitter which is as you can tell the three lines here is an input line it's being split that way that way and that way so we have wire going down here into a splitter right here and you can see cable going on this bottom line which moves along here with the circuit boards and then keep in mind as well you've got plastic so if you've already figured that out yet plastic circuit boards and cables equals computers right so we already know computers are being made and this is a further angle from what we've just seen so now we've gone shifted a little bit up north so here's the cables down here again which we've just noticed and then we know that it goes into the splitter this way so we have cables moving along here into this manufacturer which is re receiving the plastic and it's receiving the circuit boards this then outputs computers and then these computers are heading along here into these two manufacturers okay so keep in mind what is going into these two manufacturers we can clearly see plastic we can see circuit boards and then down here we know that wire circuit boards and cable all make high-speed connectors high-speed connectors go into here which go into a lift and go into this manufacturer right and it's the same here comes along here goes into this splitter goes into this manufacturer so now what do we need ai limiters so computer computers and then we have ai limiters so which means computers ai limiters high-speed connectors and plastic make supercomputers and then here is the kicker because you can say bye bye to the supercomputers that we know as of right now because has anything caught your eye right now take a look at that that is what we currently call the quantum computer and that is coming out of this merger and this is the output to the manufacturer which is taking in a supercomputer recipe so as the quantum computer now become the supercomputer and as the quantum computer being made into something new which i'm going to get to in a minute then we start to see this image we already know the particle accelerator which is taken in coal which is more than likely making diamond potentially or it could be what we know as maybe aerogel the reason i say it might not potentially be diamond is because the look of it it looks too moist right <laughs> it could be um another form of like petroleum fuel gel um or that kind of thing i don't know much about it i might have to do a bit more research in regards to what this potentially could be but it's a game it's you know some stuff are not fictional some stuff kind of or in some cases next is this output right here so as we know here's the two manufacturers and just to confirm it for you is that these two mergers are outputting from here with this current supercomputer recipe which is currently using this item which we already know and from a better angle we can kind of see it's what we now know as the quantum computer and then here's the high speed connectors and everything from here which are being made an output and going over there to go into them two manufacturers so i'm just gonna let the video play here a little bit so we can see the gel coming out of this particle accelerator which moves along this belt which is going to pass the two fluid buffers that i talked about earlier which was coming out that weird looking building with the liquid output the solid output the two inputs which are then stacked which is this double stack here on the left you can see the two manufacturers which in a second you'll see two computers come out of them down here right there which then computers are then going to go into another manufacturer which will make the supercomputers or quantum computers as we know them right now so this jelly kind of like substance moves along here and in this shot right here we can see the quantum computer right there is being mixed with what we now know is the sam or liquid and the caterium that gets mixed into that new transformer looking building 
which then outputs the gold bars. The gold bars go into a constructor, which makes these, you know, triangle prism gold things, which then come into the um, quantum encoder, which is what I'm calling it. So what we're getting here is quartz are going in. So if I just play it a little bit, you can kind of see right here. Oh, and here's a good shot. Here's the here's that um, quantum computer, which we now know is supercomputer. He's then coming out of this manufacturer. And then here, we can see this item, which we don't know where this item has been produced because we don't see it being output on anything and we don't see any other machines making this. So I, I think this is something we're not seeing. And I feel like this is some form of conductor um, of some sort, but it is it's going in here with the brass, uh, the brass, uh, the gold, which I'm now calling gold. And if we just go back a little bit, we can also see the supercomputer, quantum computer, coming along here and going into this output or input right here, alongside the blue liquid, uh, which I do believe is a blue gas uh, coming in from the transformer looking buildings. So in this building, we have the blue gas, we have the gold um, Toblerons, we have a quantum computer, and we have this kind of conductor, which I don't know where I've scoured everything where it's being produced. So we're then going to move on into the video and then we can clearly see to this and we can see this machine right here. So what this, whatever this is, I could be, I could be entirely wrong here. And I believe this is the new quantum computer. Okay. It might not be called that, but it's inputting the quantum computer that we know at the minute, right? The quantum computer that we know, it's also inputting the gold um, Toblerons. It's inputting them little uh, little conductors because it looks like they've got two little cables on the bottom, kind of like like transistor kind of things. So it's got them, and it's also inputting the uh, the gas, the blue gas, which is outputting this. So four items into this to make. But it's kind of I'm kind of curious on why the current quantum computer that we know is taking it in the current supercomputers recipes, but take into consideration the coffee stain devs did state that the supercomputer has been lowered to help for the trains. So have we now got four tiers of computers? Maybe, maybe, or have we now officially got three computers and the supercomputer is no more, but it's the quantum computer that we know now has moved and is now called the supercomputer. And then this little square thing right here is the new quantum computer. And then in this next image, we can see this particle accelerator, which is outputting these quantum crystals right here. But what it's inputting is quartz, gold troblerons, and the pink gas. So the pink gas is a byproduct of the quantum computer which is, if that's what we want to call it, because we do know that this building has four inputs. It has three solids and one liquid or gas, liquid and gas. I should clear that up. So here's one item going in. Here's the gold and here's the quartz. And the reason I know the gold's going in there is one, we can see the quartz moving here and we can see the tip of a, the triangle right here like that. And that is going into there as well. So I'm just going to quickly play the video right here. So just keep an eye on the side right here. Just keep looking this way and you kind of see them moving into that building. There you go. You see them? Because they are zooming. They are being stored down here into this storage container. And they are coming down here and going into this building. And then I'm just going to leave it running because we can see concrete being made. We can see iron plates being made. And we can come if we just roll it back a little bit we can see it's going into this manufacturer right here. And if we look right here, we can see one, two, and three inputs going into this manufacturer. So I'm just gonna take a quick screenshot of this, and then we can kind of zoom in a little better. Right, so we already know the quantum crystal is right here. We have um, concrete, nuclear pasta, and here is the plates coming out of here, which are merging it into a thingy, and we can see the splitter right here and there's plates right there on the belt so we have iron plates we have concrete we have the 
crystal and we have nuclear pasta which then outputs this death star so this death star is pretty expensive because nuclear pasta quantum crystal concrete and plate the concrete's not a problem the plates aren't a problem the nuclear pasta however and the quartz uh, the quantum crystals <clears throat> is what is going into this recipe right here then that this makes its way into the uh, particle accelerator where this is the output of it but we don't know what else is going into the particle accelerator to do this or is the particle accelerator accelerating the nucleus of the nuclear um pasta in this and it's creating that sh shielding for the radiation um but i'm gonna guess i'm gonna take a wild guess and have this is also receiving a liquid which I'm going to guess is the plutonium. And the only reason I say that is we can clearly see the plutonium moving and bloody grooving on this towards this machine. But also we have this purple, uh, purple brass pipe right here, which if we try and find a better angle of this, we can kind of see, and I believe it is the pink gas. Yes, right there. The pink gas is going into this particle accelerator with plutonium, and also the shielding thing that's cost the nuclear pasta and everything to make that final piece. So that's one of the pieces done. <clears throat> and then we also have this last piece, which we don't know what gas is going into this, but we can see the crystal, the quartz, and these little conductor things again uh, that was going into what the quantum encoder the new com computer uh, machine is doing is going in here to make the power shard okay so hopefully all of this now makes sense of what is going on in this video it is literally a production line from start to end oh now i can breathe so hopefully all that made sense to you guys one thing we didn't get answers from was the little machine that is the transistor i'm calling it which is going into these computers right it's 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 something to do with the electronics we don't know where the origin of that is or what material it was made from it could be coming from the copper system or i don't know but we don't see it anywhere we know that gel like aero gel kind of substance or diamond whatever you want to call it is coming from the particle accelerator with the coal and then we also know that's the uh, gold ingots are coming from uh, caterium and this sam or kind of package little fluid gel thing they're being mixed into that new transformers building which is making the gold ingots the gold ingots go into a constructor which makes the um gold troubleron pieces which get used within multiple um items that are electrical conductive kind of and then all of them kind of get made. But the main priority was that the supercomputer recipe is being used to make what we know right now as the quantum encoder. So the question is, is there four tiers of computer or is there only three? Let me know in the comments. Because, oh boy, if that wasn't a beautiful breakdown of what is going on this, I'm giving up. <laughs> because I feel like I did a superb job right there. So thank you so much for watching. Check out my other content right here. And if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. And I'll see you in another video.